And all of this as today marks a major milestone for U.S. stocks. The bull market turns 3,453 days old. It is the longest running rally in history. But the bulls are resting today. We ask, is the turmoil in Washington putting this record run in jeopardy? Art Hogan of B. Riley, FBR, and Gene Goldman of Cetera Investment Management join us now. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me ask you, Art, how do you see the, the legal troubles for former Donald Trump aides affecting investors, affecting Wall Street? Yeah, it's a great question. It's a difficult question, too, because the, the, the founding fathers made it difficult to both indict and impeach a president. So you, when you think about what the offshoot of this is, it's hard to model something economic. Now, let's say, you know, worst case scenario, things get worse, not better in the case. And, and the midterm elections turn into a House that's uh, a majority Democratic. You can get an impeachment uh, uh, case brought to the you know, through the uh, House to the Senate, and you still have to have a, a, a large majority to actually move that forward. So there is a reason it's difficult to do this. And it's also very difficult to say, you know, take that mm -hmm. another step. Let's say this happens and we lose Donald Trump as president. Most of the pro-growth, pro-business policies that we expected him to move forward with are here already. And as a matter of fact, the non-market friendly things like trade and, and protectionism yeah. might go away without him here. So the market's looking at this and saying, hey, we got the best policies out of him that we expected in the first you know, year and a half. And, you know, let's look forward and perhaps we have someone who tweets less is a little less protectionist <laughs> and the economy's in a pretty good shape. So you can actually yeah. make a case that, you know, without a Correct. Donald Trump, the market probably, you know, has is in a better place. That's a great point of view. Uh, you know, Gene, I want you to listen to what a voice of reason on Wall Street, John Corpina, said yesterday. If you look about uh, what our markets have done over the last six, nine, maybe 18 months, there's been no real negative headline that has gotten in our way and has stopped this market from moving higher and higher. Not North Korea, not Russia. Is it these latest political headlines, Gene, in your opinion? No, not at all. See, look at, look at the markets. Look at what investors did yesterday. The news came out. Yes, it was a terrible day for Trump, probably one of his worst in the presidency. But futures did sell off a little bit, and you did see a, a flight to, to um, safe haven assets like treasuries and gold. But I think the broader picture is that you look at today, yes, today I don't expect the stock market to fall 20%, so I don't think this bull market will be over. But the fundamentals are huge going forward. First of all, we have a strong economy. You look at um, labor market, you look at manufacturing, you look at the, the Fed's GDP now report coming in at third quarter looks at coming in at about 4.3 percent. So for 2018, we're looking at about 3.2 percent. Corporate earnings are strong. Look at yeah. year over year. Corporate earnings are up 25 and a half percent. Revenues are up 10 percent. Profit margins are up almost 11 percent year over year. This is unfat. This is crazy. The end of near the end of a of, of ninth year of a business cycle and we're seeing profit margins right. almost 11 percent year over year one more question i want to give both of you the opportunity to answer bull markets don't die yes. of old age so in your opinion art to you first what can kill this bull market a recession something that causes a recession whether it's a strong dollar that has emerging markets that cause global economic slowdown trade wars it can certainly cause a recession or at least slow down global economic growth. So I'd say that one of those two things, yep. um, you know, could cause a recession and that's what kills bull markets. Eugene? S similarly, you know, trade war, um, the Fed raising rates too quickly, because again, the Fed's in a very delicate balancing act, yeah. not to slow the economy down too much, but at the same time still provide enough stimulus for the economy to grow. So I think those are pretty big issues. Obviously, the trade war too. Okay. Gentlemen, I think you spoke this morning before this discussion. We've got optimism from both of them, and we appreciate it. Art Hogan, uh, Gene, thank you very thank you. much. You know, and they were mentioning earnings thank and you. how you know corporate earnings have been so strong. We're going to get twenty-five percent year over year. We